In a pandemic, this is being promoted as must-see TV. This is the road to a vaccine a week. The online show's creator is pharmaceutical giant Johnson & Johnson, one of the dozens of developers around the world racing towards a vaccine. Four other research teams have already shifted from the lab phase to clinical trials and human volunteers, one in China, the other in the UK, and two in the US. One U.S. trial vaccine uses the DNA sequence extracted from the spikes on the coronavirus. When injected, a person's immune system is trained to seek out those spikes. Anytime you see any signature, something that looks like this spike, anything that has this spike, uh, go pounce on that with the full force of your immune system. There are more than 60 other potential vaccines in the works and labs. This Canadian team is working on one of them. Some vaccines use all or part of a dead or weakened virus. Others use its DNA or RNA. This vaccine expert says having multiple versions is critical. So you want redundancy. So it's, it's very important that, uh, that all this research is being done. And hopefully there'll be five, six, seven, eight successful vaccines because we have a whole globe that we need to protect. Vaccines usually take five to seven years of lab research, animal studies and clinical trials in humans, but coronavirus research is moving at hyperspeed, a potential risk. My concern is that in the fear and in the haste to develop a vaccine, we may be tempted to tolerate uh, less than optimal science, and that to me seems unacceptable. Health officials predict it'll be at least another year before a vaccine is approved for wider use. With no treatment options on the horizon, immunization is the only end game in this pandemic. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.